so here we are. I've been testing my little uh, device here, the auto start. Now I don't have the, my homemade automatic choke on this generator yet. I do have it on the other one. It's back here behind me. Oh, jeez. But here's what I got so far. I've got two plugs dangling out of my generator. They're wired to this switch up here. And the idea is for me to be able to press a button in the cabin and have the generator start out here. Once it has the automatic choke on it, which I've, I've already got working, then it'll, auto, it'll start. So if I put the choke on right now, this is manual. Now I'll have to take it back off once it starts. An old 9 volt transistor battery. I'm going to touch on these two bolts here, these contacts. There's going to trip a relay inside here, that relay. And that's going to trip the uh, starting solenoid. Now the other wires coming out, three over here, they will be for shutting off the, uh, the generator. It's always set up to run. It doesn't matter whether I use positive or negative, but here's how this works. Since I can start it with a 9 volt battery from here, I'm thinking it won't be any trouble at all starting with 12 volts from inside the cabin with a run of telephone cable, which is what I'm going to plug into this for that run. I'm just going to plug up a telephone extension into this jack here. One button's going to make it start, it's going to crank it, and the other button will shut it off. Later on, there will be a box wired into my electrical system that will do all this automatically based on what the computer tells it. But first I need to get it running manual. Once I have it running manual and have the wires in the house, then that system can, I can order that module and put, put that in place. On the bright side, that module for my electrical system is the cheapest thing or accessory I can buy for it, really. But this works. This is cool. This was what I was trying to do now for a while.